Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Kim, a fairly average mum, and today I've got a one below haul, which is a bit like Poundland. So let's get cracking. Hi, I hope you're all doing okay and happy to all those people who are celebrating. I'm hoping this video goes up on the right day. If not, um, happy belated Eid to all those people who are celebrating. Um, but anyway, I'd popped over to One Below on Thursday, which was my day off, and I've got a bag full of stuff that I've not unpacked yet, so I thought I'll unpack them with you. I've also got myself some water here. It is water, not gin, you know. But my, my mouth is dry as so It has been for a couple of days. I don't know what's wrong with me, but anyway. Okay, so I'm going to show you what I got from One Below. I had such a nice time having a walk around. Didn't really need out, but it's one of those shops that when you walk in, you find all the things that you didn't know you wanted, didn't know you needed. Um, but I ended up coming out with a massive carrier bag full. I'm sorry if you don't have a one below near to you. It's a bit like Poundland, it is. But the one near to where I live, the one in Bradford is massive, absolutely massive. So um, I had a nice time going around it. I'll show you what I got just grab my bag so first up i got myself some paper towels <clears throat> i were completely out so i got this i thought this would do feels pretty solid so it feels like there's quite a lot on it i'll have to put the price on the screen because like poundland they're not all a pound you know i think this was 129 if it wasn't i'll put it on the screen so really needed some totally out i tend to use a lot of cloths but ever so often i need to mop something up you know, um, something small, something quick, and I just whack a bit of that off and, and use that, you know. Right, what else did I get? Oh, next I bought this uh, pot of lollies. I thought, I, I like a boiled sweet, you know, so I thought these would be really nice. It says assorted flavours. They had some that were just single flavours, um, but I went for this one. I think these are about two quid. Not sure. Like I say, I'll stop telling you what I think they are and just put them on the screen. But yeah, really, really like those. Let's have a look inside. I thought the pot, I could use the pot again as well. What have I got in here? Oh, they smell lovely and fruity. So they're just little um, lollipops. But like I say, I like about sweet. So every so often, I'll, I'll really appreciate that I've got those in. So happy with those. Right, next up, you're going to think I've suddenly had grandchildren or lost the plot. I haven't, right? I bought these. I'm just going to have to put this down and then grab them as I go. Sit there now, bag. Okay, I bought these at the queue. Right, now, the reason I bought these is there's a little girl at the nursery where I work and she wants to try on everybody's shoes. So I've been threatening to get some little shoes that she could um, try on as one of her next steps, you know, that would be okay for her to just try on and, and have a bit of fun with. She loves it when we get all the wellies out and things. So, so I saw these, I thought they were as cute as out. I thought she'd love them. So I've got her those two little pairs. The only small size I could get with that one in a five, which is the um, this pinky one. But I've also got uh, this one, which were the next smallest size. They're going to be too big for her, but I'm sure she'll love trying them on. So I bought those two little pairs of shoes just because she's so lovely. And I really wanted her to have some shoes that she could try on regularly and thought they were a bargain. I'm going to look in charity shops and places like that and see if I can pick her up some other ones that are more filled in shoes. Just so we can have a box of them so she can try them on. You know, but anyway, loved those, so I got her those. It's a nice start anyway. I also bought these for the nursery. Now, we've got an outside area, and when the kids go out, a lot of them really like the things that we've got sort of hanging or um, sort of put about the place. We've got wind chimes and things like that. So I saw these, and I just absolutely loved them. This is just a little bee, okay, um, metal wall art it's called I don't know how you fix them on though I was trying to work it out in the shop let me have a look see if I can get one of them off or at least untie one of them these, it's got these plastic things on it just give us a minute while I undo it wow that took some doing 
Right, what's it, what's it got here? Oh, it's got like a little hoop on the inside, sort of. And you see that, so we'll be able to hook it up. We've got trees and things sort of that overhang the the um, nursery, so I'll be able to, the playground bit. So I'll be able to hang these up. So that's cute, that's a little bee. And then I also got um, this one, which is a little ladybird. Thought they were dead cute. Thought the kids would really like those, sort of hanging up outside. So I like those an awful lot. I had to look around all the gardening stuff just because I was determined I was going to get a few bits for nursery. The other ones that I got, I got two of these, which are just these little spiral windmill things. I'll unpack one so I can show you it. Oh, all right. So this one's got a little buzzy bee on and then you hook this bit to it and the wind blows it. It's hooked via this little metal hook thing. So I've got this one and I've got one other. I'll come across it as I'm going. I like the little pipe cleaner bits at the top. So the kids are like those as well. It's just something else to make it a bit more interesting outside. They don't last forever, but you know, they'll last a bit of time. Where's my other one? Oh, this is my other one. It's a little frog. Thought the kids would like them. You know, they'll just hang and blow in the wings and everything. Make it a bit interesting for them. I haven't just bought stuff for the nursery, but I have bought quite a few bits. Um, although, if, they, if you've got your own garden and you're into this sort of thing, there are a few bits that you could get for your own garden. And these are my other two bits that I got for the nursery. I got this little bird, which has got a bell thing on the bottom. So it'll blow in the wind. Thought they'd like that one. That's another one that just hooks up. And we've got loads of bits of trees that these will hook in so that the kiddies can look at them. And then when you pick one of them up, they like to hit the little sort of wind chimes and bells and things. So love that one. They had these birds and things in all different colours, but that's the colour I went for. And I also got this lady, I mean, this butterfly one, which I just thought were really pretty as well. I tried to get some different designs. They had this in all different colours as well. I just picked up this one. No particular reason. Just thought it's another thing for them to notice while we're out in the garden. So I loved that one. Then I bought this for me. No reason. Just really liked it. I love all kitschy. And this to me, this appeals to me. They had it in all gold. But I really like this pink bit. You know, it's a pineapple with a straw in so I think this bit screws off, does it? So you can fill it up with water. Yeah, it does. And it's got a bendy straw. I'm going to take that one into work and have, a, have my water out of that for a bit, you know, until it goes a bit manky. And then probably I'll just use it for something else rather than using it for water. But in the meantime, I'm taking that in and I'm going to use that. I thought the kids would really like it, you know, seeing that around the place. It's pink as well, Holly. So... <laughs> Even though it's my water bottle, it'll fit in with the room, kind of, you know. So, really like that one. Like the little uh, twirly straw on it as well. Like I say, more for the kids, but also because I like hope that's quite kitschy. And it was cheap as all. Okay, then I bought myself some new toothbrushes. These were literally a quid. Bamboo toothbrushes, I think you get three in them. You do get in. I love a bamboo toothbrush. I just find it's a bit softer on your teeth. I like that they've got... So if you were going to get them for your family, I like that they've got different colour bristles. So for all the handles are all the same, you can identify which one's yours by the colour of the bristles. But in my case, they'll all be for me. So I'll just stick them in a drawer. And then as I need them, I'll pull them out. I really like those. They feel... They're not too soft, not too hard. So great. Love a bamboo toothbrush. It's more eco than a plastic one. And also, I just find it's less clinky clanky on your teeth, you know. So, happy with those. And then I also got myself these, which are wooden cutlery sets. But it says 18 pack. I thought it was just one set. Let's have a look, see what it's like inside. Oh, wow, you get quite a few. Look at these. Goodness me. So, what do you get? Six of each. I think you do, you get six of each. That'd make 18, wouldn't it? So you get six little knives, six little wooden forks, and six little wooden spoons. 
You know, they're a lot nicer than the plastic ones. If you're having a party or something like that and you just wanted some sort of disposable cutlery, much better to get these ones. But also, they'll be really helpful to me. I'm going to stick a set in my bag. But if I'm ever out and I get some food while I'm out, you know, they'll be great. I really like those. I really anticipated I was just going to get a set of three. So the fact I've got 18 is great. Six sets for when one set goes a bit, you know, like discoloured and unpleasant. So happy with those. I'll still be using them even if they are a bit discoloured until the point where I really, really can't use them anymore. But like those an awful lot. They had a whole range of stuff like this. They had um, big packs of spoons. They had um, bamboo straws. All sorts of stuff, you know, in the um, this set. You know, this sort of range that were all in um, cardboard boxes. So very happy with those. I like it that companies are now starting to do a bit more like that. You know, like for disposable things that they're not all plastic, sort of single-use plastics anymore, which is great. Really happy with those. What else did I get? Oh, I bought myself some ice pops. I'd like to say I bought them for somebody else, but I didn't. I bought these slush puppy ice pops. I was queued up at the checkout and saw them and thought, I like an ice lolly, you know. So these would be great. Oh, wow, look at those. So that's them. Um, so they've got this little twisty top. Are they ones that you freeze? Yeah, freeze delicious pops. And you get all different colours. I've got two red ones, two brown ones, which you take it like Coca Cola, uh, two greeny yellow ones, and two blue ones. I always remember these are by Slush Puppy. I always remember getting Slush Puppies with my sister. So we used to get with pocket money and we'd walk into a local town on a Saturday. And we'd go to the slush puppy shop, um, a shop that had a machine, and we'd always choose um, a colour. And then, revolutionary idea, they started mixing your slushy so that you could get a colour at the bottom and a colour at the top, which were brilliant. We loved that. That kept us going for ages. And we used to get those like every Saturday when we'd go into the town, you know, we were pocket money. So very happy with those. Like that they're all different flavours. Not sure why they've got this bit on the top, given that if it's, unless it goes like actual slush puppy inside, because if it does and don't completely freeze, I'll be over the moon with those. Eight for a quid, fantastic. Crash. Especially now it's getting on to the warmer weather and things. Please, goodness, like get on to the warmer weather. We had a really nice day yesterday. And today it's been a bit drizzly and overcast again. So hopefully we'll get some nice weather going forward. We better do because I've been out and got a load of clothing um, from different shops that I'm hoping I will at some point be able to wear. So, yeah. What else have I got in this bag? Okay, I got these balls. Right, now these are for the nursery as well. These are the ones that you can soak in water and then sort of throw at each other. But I'm just going to put them in the room. In the We've got a tub of all different balls um, that the kids like to feel all the different bumps on them and all the different textures and things. And I thought these would be a nice different texture for them. And also it's going to be safe for them to throw them in the room. So really like those. But if you're after ones, what are they called? Splash balls. So you can just soak them in water and chuck them at each other in the warm weather, you know. Okay, next I got an inflatable mermaid. No reason, just liked it. Thought I'd give it a go. If it's any good, I'll take it into the room. If it's no good, I'll just have it here, you know. So, yeah, inflatable mermaid. Right, okay, let's have a look. Oh, bless her. Here she is. Goodness me, look at her nose. She looks a bit surprised, don't she? Let's try blow her up and see what she looks like when I've blown her up. Okay, it doesn't have one of those valves on it that stops. <laughs> Goodness <laughs> what have I bought? Gracious me, look at her. Oh dear, poor lassie. You're not an attractive little soul, are you? You've got a massive head compared to your body. But anyway, yeah. I don't know why I bought her, like I say. I just quite like the idea of an inflatable mermaid. 
So I, I'm determined to find out what that's like. So yeah, she's okay. She's got a massive head though. <laughs> she has got a massive head compared to her body. So, oh bless her. You can't help it, can you love? No, just sit down there now while I get finished and then we'll have a chat. Okay, next up I bought this pen. I, I've taken all my pens into work or the vast majority of my pens into work um, and they've disappeared. So all my pen collection, kind of most of them, I took into work because we needed pens. But as it is in any place where you use pens a lot, they go walk about, don't they? So when I saw this little windmill one, I thought I'm having it. Gonna take it in a work. Kids will love it, you know. So um, yeah, it's less likely to go in somebody's pocket and get sort of accidentally taken home as well, because it's too big to do that. So yeah, I like that one, thought it was really pretty. Like this Illuminous thing at the top, you know, that pearlized thing. So very happy with that one, it were only cheap. Then I bought myself another bubble thing because I have got um, uh, the last bubble machine I got, which I paid five ninety nine for. I think this were about a quid. Uh, the problem is you've got to lock and load all the time. It does make loads of bubbles. I got it from B and M, I think. Or did I get it? No, I got it at Home Bargains. The problem is it because it, it's a bit messy, in all honesty. And I wanted one that you just press the button on it and it kept on turning so i'm hoping that this one is that thing i mean we're still using the other bubble machine at work but if you can have another one you know set two off at the same time that'll be even better now then i have got some batteries i'll come back to you at the end with these batteries and tell you whether that works okay and last up no reason bought this comfort bra bought it in a medium i'm hoping it's gonna fit it was cheap as all. Okay, the colour's not that attractive. It's a nude one. They also had white ones. Yeah, it's not that attractive. But I thought it'd be all right for work. I wear my comfy stuff at work, you know what I mean? I, I don't wear push-up bras and stuff like that or thongs or anything when I go to work. I wear jumbo knickers and a comfy bra because I'm bending down picking kiddies up 20 times or 20 times a minute honestly sometimes it's very stretchy the colour's not that attractive to say it's nude but um yeah it'll be all right I'm sure that'll fit and be okay I'm sure I'll get some wear out of it if it works out for me I'll go back and get some more although I have to say the medium had almost sold out in all of them they had right up to I think I certainly saw an extra large and a small. So that was the range that I can vouch for. But yeah, not bad that. It's okay. Cheap as all, be okay for work. Right, I'm going to get some batteries for me um, bubble maker. Okay, what I've realised about it is it's basically a fan with this on the top. So you're going to have to put your bubble mixture into something to dip it in. But anyway, we'll give it a go. Let's see whether it works this time. See, what I should do, lovely Sienna, right, at work, she's um, seen one that you just put the bubble mixture in and, it, like, you turn it on and off it goes. What I should do is just buy one of those, but, you know, I'm as daft as a brush. Why, why would I? Why not make all this trouble for myself? So let's put this on. Wow! Oh, my goodness, did you see that? wow that is amazing i absolutely love it oh that's that is so much better than the last one that i got there's bubbles everywhere although this there we go the switch is not that good long may that last that is fantastic i absolutely love it that's better than the one that I paid significantly more for. There's bubbles going everywhere. Um, I'll just go one more go because I absolutely love it. Goodness me, there's bubbles everywhere. That's fantastic. Oh, I'm really pleased with that. To say it were a bargain as well. Gracious me, that is lovely. All these bubbles are still floating down. don't know if you can see any. No, they're floating off camera. Hey, dear. Really happy with that one. Let's do one above me. See if they'll float down now. Watch the water. 
But anyway, that's everything for today. If you've liked this video, please give us a like. It really helps us out. And if you like this kind of content, you might want to consider subscribing. I've left all my contact details in the description box, just in case you want to contact me for any reason. But thank you very much for taking a few moments out of your day to spend with me. And happy Eid. Bye.